Hey you guys, just a quick note before the video gets started. Um, I actually recorded this for 1.16.2, but the same process will work for 1.16.3. So don't worry if you're on 1.16.3, just keep following the video, exactly the same process. Hello everybody, welcome back to Prototype Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an auto miner in Minecraft Java Edition 1.16.2. Let's get into it. Alright, so in this video I am going to be showing you how to set up a auto miner in Minecraft Java 1.16.2. Now to do this, it's really simple, but this is what's going to happen. You're going to go into your, once you have it all installed, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the chat, and you're going to type in mine, and then you're going to choose a block. For me, I'm just going to put in, uh, whoops, diamond underscore or and now boom you see that your screen may look a little glitchy that's because it's just moving very precisely but yeah it will begin getting diamonds now if there's actually a path leading to them like this it will go directly to it actually it just canceled because there's no blocks they could use but boom it'll go directly to it you see that I don't know why I got, didn't get that one. Anyways, every once in a while it'll glitch out a little bit, nothing major. Sometimes you may miss one, but in the end you get a lot of stuff that you, that you want to get. So if you want this, you came to the right video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this, the whole process, the whole shebang. And if you go on to enjoy this video and find it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing more videos like this and a lot of other stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the Minecraft Java Edition Launcher open. As you can see, it's on the latest release. You're going to want to make sure that you're on the version that you want to be playing on. So, for this one, it's going to be 1.16.2. So, you're going to want to click on 1.16.2, so make sure it's all good. And then, you're going to want to play. Got that? Boom. Alright, so now that you've got Minecraft open, you're going to want to go into a single player world and go into just any random world you want. And boom, so I am current, it's a very laggy world because it's still loading the chunks in, but I am in a, uh, one of my worlds, a uh, testing world for a wither farm. may make a video on this, uh, leave it in the comments if you're interested, it's got pretty good rates. But uh, yeah, so you're just going to want to be in here and then uh, just save and quit. You're going to want to quit out of Minecraft entirely, quit game. Boom, you see that? That's the easy part. So now you're going to want to go onto Firefox, Chrome, whatever you're using, and you're going to want to download two things. First off, you're going to want to download the, um, the Fabric installer. Uh, there will be a link in the description for this in case, you, uh, in case you don't know where to find it. So you're going to want to download the Windows EX version. If you're on Windows, of course. If you're on anything else, go to the universal slash jar file. But if you're on Windows, click on the Windows one. And boom, it's going to pop up with this. Save file and just save it to wherever you want. For simplicity's sake, mine's going on the desktop. Alright, so now that you got that downloaded, you're going to want to come over here. And this website can be a little confusing sometimes because they're constantly updating them and putting out new things. Uh, but the version you're going to want to get right now is this version. Fabritone 1 slash 1 point, a couple other things you can't see right now. But because it's constantly updating and it can be a little confusing, the one that I'm using was uploaded on September 1st, 2020 at 10.29 p.m. EDT. Got it? Alright, so that's the one that you're going to want to download. It's also got this number, so just remember, if, the, if you're doing it on 1.16.2, this is the one you're going to want. Alright, so you're going to come over here to the download button, press download, and boom, it's going to come up with this file. Now this one will be downloaded somewhere different, close that, um, go over to your files, press the open in, fo uh, in folder, and boom, this is the file that you just downloaded. You're going to want to drag it onto your desktop, like so. You see that? Boom. Close everything now. You're done with Firefox. Alright, so first, so these are the two files we got. We got artifacts and we've got the fabric installer. You're going to want to double click on the fabric installer. I'll take a second to load probably. Alright, so now that it's open, you're going to want to just go through this, make sure they're exactly like this. You're going to want to make it Minecraft version 1.16.2 load version. I don't know if this makes any difference. Personally, I don't know what any of this is. So for now, this is what I'm using. Works fine. And boom, you're going to want to make sure it looks exactly like this. 1.16.2, uh, build 207, and the files, it may be different depending on where you go, but uh, depending on how you install it, but if you just use the default one, boom, this is where you want to go, press install. Boom, successfully installed, you can close that and you can delete the fabric installer. Alright, so if you go now and you pr uh, press the Windows and the R key on your computer, you'll come up with this thing. 
this little thing in the corner called run. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in percent app data percent. And then you want to press enter and it'll bring you over to this folder. All right. So you're going to go into Minecraft and boom, you've got fabric installed. As you can see, there's a couple files in here that has fabric. And if you come down here into the versions, we have the fabric loader 1.16.2. Perfect. All right, next up, you are going to want to go back to your desktop where you have the artifacts downloaded. You're going to want to right click on that and press extract all. This will just default to your desktop. That's completely fine. Just put it there. It may take a second to extract, but it should work. And boom, now that you got this, you can delete the zipped folder, the one with the zipper. You can delete that. That one we're all good with. This one, you're going to want to double click on that, double click on build, double click on that. And now you have the actual uh, mod, Fabritone 1.16.2. So as you can see, there's two of them. You're going to want, don't touch the dev file. The dev file, you don't want that one. You want just the normal 1.6.2. So you're going to drag that. Actually, before you do that, back over at the percent app data thingy right here where the my, dot .minecraft file is, you're going to want to go into your folder right here. So it'll start with uh, Fabric and go, keep on going down. Um, so if you find a folder named mods, that's great. If you don't, just right click new folder and just name it mods with an uppercase M. All right, so you're just going to enter there, just double click on it, get the Fabritone for 1.6.2. I don't know why it's 1.6.2. It's meant 1.16, but uh, you're going to, whoops, you're going to want to, why is it acting weird? All right, so you're going to want to select the one that you have and you're going to want to copy and paste. There you go. Fabritone is now in your mods folder. So you're going to want to close that, close that, Cl uh, delete the original file, and then you're going to want to go to Minecraft, and boom, Fabric Loader 1.16.2 should be right there. All right, now let's just go in and test that it's actually working properly. So you're going to want to press play. All right, so now that you're in a Minecraft world, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to test that everything is set up properly. So you're going to want to go into the chat, type mine, and choose what block you're going to do. For me, I'm just going to put in redstone ore, and it may take a second, and boom, it's got it. So you now have it installed. So if you want to stop it, just do stop, and boom, it'll do it. Uh, there's a couple other things you can do with it, like a couple of settings you can mess with. Personally, I haven't messed around with it that much. If you want to, though, I'm pretty sure you can just search up at, like, uh, Fabritone settings and like commands and it'll come with a lot more, but uh, yeah, that's how you install it I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it useful if you did find it useful make sure to uh, Leave a like and subscribe 